What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Aramis. So I've been in a filming mood like lately, period, which is why y'all are probably gonna get two videos this week. And if I could fit a third video in, you'll get a third video too. <laughs> but really, I miss you guys and I kind of just miss company and having people to talk to and this coronavirus thing, keeping me in the house for months and months and months, even to an introvert, it's kind of a lot. So yes, I kind of want to get back into myself and this YouTube thing. So yeah, I'm gonna take y'all around with me today. So today is pretty much over, hence why like the lighting is going to be weird throughout this vlog because the sun is setting and everything. But this is kind of like, when I get my day started, if you understand what I'm saying. So right now, I'm in this smock, which I really need to take it off because if I'm not in class, I have no reason to be wearing it. But I'm a cosmetology student and I spend a lot of time, well, not really a lot of time, not this semester, but previous semesters, I would spend a lot of time on campus, which would kind of like stop me from filming as much and all this other stuff. Um, but this semester, due to coronavirus, I'm only on campus twice a week. But those two days that I'm on campus is kind of my days to really, really get everything I want done because I get to drop my daughter off with my grandma or my brother or somebody that want to watch her while I get my day through. So I lucked up today when um, I had drove all the way to campus and did the whole drop off thing with my baby and realized class was canceled. But by the time I realized that, you know, I had already literally went inside and was like, well, damn, like if I would have known class was canceled, I would have dropped my baby off much earlier. So I would have had my whole day, but it's okay. It's okay. I got a couple of hours left before I got to go pick her up. So I'm actually about to start or I'm actually going to show you guys what I've been working on because I know that I've been gone for a long time and I'm also not the best with social media. You know, you could literally go weeks, months without hearing from me and I literally just be fine. I just don't like it <laughs> but i want to show you what i've been what i've been working on and what i'm about to do i'm going to speak into existence what i'm about to become one moment all right guys so this is just one of the projects that i have been working on if y'all wonder why i'm smiling so hard it's because deandre was just in here he makes me smile hard so this is a wig i just like stitched her together lightly passed a flat iron through her a while ago because i actually have a few other wigs like her finished um i'm actually gonna put some pin curls though i think i want her to have pin curls and i'm also realizing that this part is kind of off center so i'm gonna fix that while i'm talking to you guys okay so if y'all been following me in this channel for a while y'all know that at one point i was kind of heavy in the wig game kind of making wigs and uploading wig content regularly and i took a break from that and a long break honestly so not too long ago i ordered like a shit ton of bundles like hella bundles hella frontals hella closures hella everything because i decided that i wanted to get back in the wig game i feel like i was missing out on a lot and i just you know wanted to be a part of everything so during this summer i've been in my spare time the little bit that i do have i've been kind of working on my craft and while I'm in school, kind of deciding what I wanted to do long term with my wig stuff and where I want to take my business. After a lot of time, a lot of growth, a lot of maturity, all of that stuff, I decided that I wanted to try again at the wig stuff. Sorry about this baby stuff in the background. I really tried to pick like a cleared out spot in here, but it's hard. It's really hard. This house has stuff everywhere. But anyways... Um, a lot of time has passed and I decided that I wanted to start back up again but in a different way in a way that I can kind of control volume clientele and all of that stuff so instead of selling a service I'm gonna actually sell the product I'm just gonna sell my wigs and I went back and forth debating on if I should you know do like a pre-order thing or something like that but honestly I just see that as another another reason to get backed up I'm, i really should be using a, a curling iron i'm not even gonna lie but these curls are actually gonna sit in these pins for probably a, a couple of weeks before i'm ready to launch short term i just want to do this online instagram and all that stuff we already got the instagram made i just haven't had it i just haven't made the instagram public yet because you know we don't have enough wigs ready to launch but as soon as we do have enough wigs ready to launch y'all will hear me talking about the instagram non-stop all right y'all so we like halfway through and as you can see i didn't take the pin curl all the way up because this is long hair so i didn't want it to be like curly from 
hair to hair is gonna give it like a church wig and we don't want that so I wanted to have like body 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 and then curls towards the end so that's why we did like pretty much a little I would say we did we curled a little over half of the hair length so let me see if we can zoom into these stitches because I really need y'all to get into the quality of her okay Yes, focus. Thank you. Do y'all see these stitches? Yes. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. Of course, I fell asleep before I was supposed to close the vlog out, but it's okay because I actually have a few more things to film before I do. And it's pretty early. I'm home today. I don't have school. So I'm home with my daughter. I'm home with Tamara. So um, I'm going to try to get as much film today as I can and then close the vlog out but yeah i am up early so that i can hopefully get something recorded before she wakes up but yeah i wanted to show you guys this so i bought well last week i bought like this calendar this dry erase board because i was hoping that <laughs> y'all see my ghost <laughs> so childish right but i was hoping that i could kind of use it as a way to kind of spread myself over the week a little bit better like i'm trying not to make this channel about a mom life and stuff because i really don't i don't think i want this to be a mom channel but at the end of the day i am a mom like regardless if i put that on youtube or not so with that being said my weeks they don't always go as planned so i was thinking like maybe i could stay on top of my youtube and my my wig business that's growing and stuff if i got something that i could like visually put out and i even broke it down like to clean it upstairs one day clean it downstairs the next day clean the bathrooms on friday like i have to do it like that because literally this mom life before you know it like you'll sit down it's monday and before you know it it's friday like the days just they just fly by i swear to god they do now i want to get some wig stuff done today i went to walmart the other day and i bought these i guess this is tool so this is like some sparkly gray tool and then this is some um, sparkly black tool so we painted my daughter's room gray even though she ain't sleeping in it right now but um <laughs> we painted her room gray so i was thinking about using that gray tool on her gray like wall as like a backdrop to my pictures for when i'm like taking pictures of the wigs when they're finished for the site i don't know I, i'm gonna show y'all that in a second but i did finish pin curling her like she's just chilling right now let me go find her there she is these pin curls have been in here for a while plus i kept like undoing them and stuff but literally they've been in here so long they're gonna be fine i do need to go back in with the hot comb on this part and flatten it out for the photos but hopefully with that background up against her gray wall hopefully with the gray tool when i take pictures and use my ring light and stuff she will be very very pretty all right y'all so this is the wall i was talking about earlier this morning when i was telling y'all that I was going to put this tool on there to take pictures so this tool which I hope gets as big as I needed to get I'm hoping that it's big enough for me to like fold it a couple of times because it's kind of sheer which obviously I already knew that but I thought that it would be cute up against this wall like this y'all can't even see but y'all will get the vision in just a second wait no it cannot really be this small okay so it's like this so i might have to do it vertically because horizontally this hair is too long like if it was a bob i could do it this way but this hair is gonna hang past that and that's gonna look really ghetto so I think I'm gonna just thumbtack this to the wall and then get really close with the pictures and kind of play with some lighting some. And I got the hot comb heating up right now because we are about to like flatten her out and really perfect her for pictures. Hold on, let me find the thumbtacks. So are we getting the vision now? 
So all I did, let me zoom y'all out real quick. Oops, wrong way on this. All I did was literally thumbtack these up here and then I put three at the bottom too and I did it vertically because like I said, horizontally, the hair would have hung past that. And I think it's finally time that we take out these pen curls because girl, these have been in here long, a long, okay. Literally, I'm about to like, this why this is why my tripods keep breaking on me because I'm really rough and dramatic when I talk <laughs> and I always gotta hit stuff. But yes, it's taken me a long time to actually take these pen curls down, but that's good because that means these curls gonna be ready for pictures. And I got this hot comb ready for these roots. I actually need to go get my wax stick. Let me go grab my wax stick and then I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay. Oh, I almost couldn't find this. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take these things out, girl. Let's be gentle with how we're handling the curls. Whoa. how they look fresh out of pen curls they look so juicy and moisturized and i promise you the hair is as soft as it looks girl i promise so i'm gonna play with this a little bit get this ready for pictures and get some pictures taken and send this off to the person making my website i will link him down below as well if you would like a website made went ahead and hot combed and use the slick wax stick on this side, which is why this side is pretty much like super flat. It ain't going nowhere. And I do this to all of my wigs um, before I put them aside, basically. Oh, I got my belly all out and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, before I put them aside and move on to the next wig, I like pretty much style them ahead of time. And this wig, after we take pictures, we'll probably go right back in pin curls because I want the curls to still be here when the client buys this wig. And so it's because this is a straight wig, so I don't expect these curls to stay in for days of just sitting here. But yeah, I'm just bumping this, going over the flat iron, really flatten it out as much as I can, showing off the hairline. I didn't do uh, baby hairs on this one. I did cut baby hairs, but I didn't like pull them down and do the most because I didn't feel like it really needed it. I really wanted to show off the blonde pieces in the front. And then I'm gonna, like these pieces, the front pieces, I got a frame to the face, so I'm going with my razor comb in a bit, but I just wanted to show y'all the process. And literally I spend like, 10 minutes doing this on each side because I promise you there's a difference like you see how you turn the wig this way and like look right here you can see like a hump that's how it's gonna look on your head like it's like sitting on your head and then you turn it this way and look how flat that is super flat you can't even really see it so there's a difference this part definitely matters so i spent a lot of time just making sure the pieces in the front are real flat excuse me for using this comb i know this is ghetto and then the wax stick that i've been using is the she's bomb collection and this is the only wax stick i've ever purchased and it's never given me issues it was ten dollars which am i cheap or is this expensive because that's expensive but I never had to repurchase it and I done had it like two months. So it's pretty good. It does the job. So I'd repurchase for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side. And then frame it to the face. And then also I got this thing. I meant to show y'all. I got this. Y'all like what the fuck? <laughs> I got this thing from the beauty supply store like these are like 50 or 60 dollars on amazon but i asked this dude i asked this asian dude at the beauty supply store if i could buy it off of him and he let me have it for like wait 20 dollars 
twenty dollars i paid for this so she looks green af so i'm thinking like maybe i should like either put some makeup on her for pictures because i am going to do pictures on the canvas head and on this maybe put some eyelashes on or something maybe it'll help maybe it won't i don't know but i feel like she looks so green but yeah we're gonna try to take some pictures with her as well the wax stick really helps put things down without being like crunchy it's a really soft hold plus like the flyaways that are normally on a wig that are super annoying they get them down too thank you lord for wax sticks and i am kind of heavy-handed with my wax sticks but that's because i know that they're gonna be packaged and sit for a while and stuff and i just want the client to receive it in the best way possible can y'all believe the other day there was this debate in this wig group that i'm in on facebook about how like if stylists should send out wigs style because apparently there's been let me show you, let me put this on y'all apparently there's been like a complaint of people receiving wigs and they're not looking how they were in the picture and the stylist being like well you have to wash and style it just like you would your own hair and I, although I see their point I see both sides point I'm gonna have to agree with the client more because they kind of bought the wig for the style like you're able to charge more for wigs once you style them so if you, they're gonna pay more then you should keep it styled but i also understand shipping and the fact that most of our wigs will sit for like a month before we launch everything so you know everything's not going to be as fresh and things get messed up in the mail but that's why you should at least try to go to extra mile and using products and keeping your wigs pin curled until they're sold and keeping them put away out out of the way completely you know things like that so yeah as you can see i did pluck this i did bleach the knots let's get closer i know i have like a recent video of me like bleaching and plucking but i've switched up my methods even since then so if y'all want a video on how i bleach and pluck a frontal let me know but i feel like i filmed them like five different times on this channel so literally just doing this for like 10 minutes until it's just flat and then also for this track right here for wig makers this top track to keep it covered use that hot comb to pull that hair back like once you put the hot comb down that hair is not going to move it's going to lay in that direction that you hot comb it so hot comb that hair over the track so you don't see a track when it's all said and done in the back and it'll stay like that per probably until the wig is washed the last time I will be saying good morning in this vlog because this is getting ridiculous um <laughs> today I'm going to be finishing up taking pictures of a different wig I don't think I've shown y'all this wig yet but this is another one that I worked on and then let me zoom in because she is colored she has like a deep burgundy color again really pretty for fall I'm gonna do a couple with like some bold colors but I was just really I expected this to come out a little bit redder than it did it's still pretty but I do need to play with some bolder colors but I actually did this with um, no bleach using permanent dye so 
this color will definitely be the color like of this wig like it won't be like lifted or nothing because i didn't use a door or any like type of rinse or anything like that on this so we got this wig and i'm going to take some pictures of her today because i haven't done any pictures plus i kind of styled this while it was wet so this part is crunchy so i'm gonna go in with my hot comb and since this is deep curly hair or this was deep curly but after i processed this hair the curls did loosen up and so it's not as curly as i got it like hold on y'all hold on i'm actually gonna go grab a deep curly and i'm gonna I'm show y'all hold on so the original deep curly looks like this and this is what it looks like after i processed it so it ain't that different but it is a little different like it's definitely a little looser so when i put this on the site it definitely won't be sold as a deep curly wig but the good thing is i've already washed this wig like three times and the curl has stayed the same each time so it ain't going nowhere past this but yes i did note that and i will be more than likely looking for a different deep curly vendor the other textures that i use for my current vendor work really well for me but i might have to get somebody else for deep curly so we can play with some color but right now i'm about to take this down i did this while it was wet so things are crunchy things are i don't know i feel like i should fluff up the curls some for the pictures take out this ponytail i kind of did a twist at the end take out this ponytail and like redo it and then i'm gonna go in and hot comb it so that the ponytail can be like super flat to uh the wig head and yeah just liven her up for pictures what y'all saw i kind of really enjoyed filming um the, what i do 
on a regular basis like the wig stuff is kind of what I do and I really enjoy filming that part and it kind of made me do a little bit more than I normally would in a day because I knew I was filming and I knew I had to upload the video soon and I feel like if I was to keep this up I could probably stay consistent with my YouTube videos since I'm already doing this wig stuff regularly plus I posted last night on snapchat the I mean snapchat I posted last night on Instagram story I don't really post on Instagram I'll change that soon but I do post on my stories like often so but I post on my Instagram story last night a video of the first wig that y'all saw with the honey highlights I put that on my story and I got a lot of good feedback a lot of people ready to see the website a lot of people just ready to shop a couple of girls just wanted to buy it off me right then and there and honestly it was hard saying no because I I need the bread like I definitely need the bread we in a pandemic I ain't working we need the bread but I gotta make sure that I have inventory for when my site drops um, so it is something that I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep everything until I'm ready to drop and I think I'm only gonna drop like five wigs at first just to see how they are and like if my prices are reasonable just to see how quickly they sell and then I'll drop more as I'm making them and then hopefully I'll be stitching um, and recording at the same time hopefully y'all like the content also I'm gonna need help with naming those wigs both of them um, are definitely different they don't have many similarities um, one of them is the curly, deep burgundy wig. And I almost don't even want to call that burgundy because, like, I'll insert pictures or y'all should have saw pictures of the wig. I don't really know how I'm going to edit this yet. But in some pictures, it looks just really dark. And then other pictures, you see the burgundy. But in real life, like y'all saw it in different angles on the video, it's burgundy, but it's so deep. And But this is the thing. I didn't use a door or any type of rinse. Like, I know I said that earlier, but it's very important that y'all know that because with the permanent hair color, even if it is that deep, it's not going to be something that rinses out after three or four rinses. And, you know, I'm saying that because it's already so dark. And I don't want you to think that when you buy the wig that you can only wear it or wash it three or four times before the color comes out completely that's not that's not the case is what i'm letting y'all know it's gonna stay that color unless you decide to brighten it or whatever it's gonna stay that color for a while it's permanent hair color it's still a good purchase i just don't know what to name it because of the color so if y'all can help me out with that and then the curl pattern as well it's not really deep curly so i will have to play around with that name and then also help me out with naming the uh, one with the honey highlights. I think that one is I really think they're both perfect for fall But the one with the honey highlights is like super perfect for fall. So yes, and I'm working on one currently um, I might vlog it depending on y'all's feedback Yeah, depending on how y'all let me know y'all like this content, but But yeah, I'm just I'm literally just growing in this like nothing I'm literally just taking it every day by day like I learn something new every day my last business venture wasn't really it didn't really work out in my favor and that was 100% on me like well I'm losing my sunlight I really should have started recording a while ago I'm sorry y'all but yeah my last business venture with the wig thing wasn't a success and it was my fault and it was because you know I had gotten a lot of views and popularity off of you know a video that was kind of like an it was like an accidental viral thing and I used that to my advantage without doing much research without really like thinking about it I just said yes yes because I just saw money that I, that could be made and you know it ended up biting me in the ass later like I did not have a good business plan I did not put any thought I think I decided to create that business probably in three days maybe had the site up in a week like it wasn't something I put a lot of effort into and you know I took some years off because I was ashamed of how it ended and I felt like there was a lot that I needed to learn from that um so outside of the obvious failures so I learned a lot I grew a lot it's been a few years I'm actually in school for cosmetology specifically now and I'm kind of like understanding more of the business aspect at the same time so I think I have a better grip on it this time 
is what I'm trying to say. Like, I think I have a better grip on it, and I think that you guys would be really, really proud, and I think that y'all would love to shop. Um, I cannot wait to launch, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say about this um, content. So, let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next upload. Bye, y'all.